Welcome to another Visual Cobol in a Nutshell video. This is the first of three videos on Profiler and will provide an introduction to the Profiler feature of Microfocus Cobol. The next Profiler video will cover advanced options to control the runtime behavior of Profiler. The final video about Profiler will cover using this feature within a Visual Cobol IDE. In this video, we'll see an overview of what Profiler does and imagine some scenarios where it might be useful, review a simple COBOL program's perform structure, which we'll use to understand some of Profiler's features, look at an example Profiler report, cover how to enable Profiler for an application at the command line, and how to generate a Profiler report from the gathered statistics. Finally, we'll see a demonstration of using Profiler from the command line. First, what is Profiler? Profiler is a feature of Microfocus COBOL that enables you to obtain detailed statistics on the runtime performance of a COBOL program. Using Profiler, you can examine how long it takes for various portions of a program to execute. To get a basic idea of what Profiler can do, let's look at a mainline paragraph example for a simple COBOL program. This program's mainline breaks up the program's work into several paragraphs. Profiler can provide statistics to help you learn which paragraphs execute quickly and which may take a longer time to execute. Let's imagine a couple of situations where performance might be of interest, such as, I'd like to improve the performance of a program. Which part of the code should I focus on? Or, I'm migrating my application to a new platform and it's taking longer to execute than it did on the old platform. Which portion of the application shows the biggest increase in execution time? In scenarios like these, it would be helpful if I could instrument the various paragraphs or sections of a program to determine which portions are taking the most time or more time than they used to. This is what Profiler can do. Easily provide statistics about how long it takes the paragraphs or sections in a program to execute. Profiler can do this for single programs or for larger COBOL applications that consist of multiple programs that call each other. Next, let's take a look at an example Profiler report. In this sample, the program shown previously has been run under Profiler. The report shows the percentage of the overall time for this program taken by a given paragraph or section the total time spent in that paragraph during the program's execution, and the Entries column shows how many times that paragraph was invoked during the profiled execution. Notice that the paragraphs or sections of the program are listed in descending order based on the amount of time they took during the program's execution. The 3000 Generate Reports paragraph is listed first and the report shows this paragraph took significantly more time than the other paragraphs. In tackling slow performance of this program, that might be the paragraph to focus on first. Now that we've got a general idea of what Profiler can do, let's look at a more complete example of a COBOL application, which will be used in the upcoming demonstration and remaining videos. This tiny application doesn't perform any useful work, but it's intended to illustrate some features and considerations with using Profiler. There is a main program and two subprograms, which are called in turn. The adder and divider subprograms are a little silly. They each perform their arithmetic operations 500,000 times, but this allows them to run long enough to take a meaningful amount of time, which can be easily seen when Profiler reports on them. One difference in the subprograms I'll point out is that the adder program first displays a prompt and waits for user input. We'll talk more about this difference in a few minutes. Next, let's talk about how you enable Profiler to collect statistics about your application. The way you request and view Profiler reports differs between working at the command line and within an IDE. To finish out this video, Let's take a look at using Profiler at the command prompt. We'll explore using Profiler in a Visual COBOL IDE in a later video. To use Profiler, 
you first have to specify the profile compiler directive. Here are examples of some simple commands that specify this directive on Unix, Linux, and Windows platforms. This causes the COBOL compiler to add special instructions to the compiled module it creates. These are added at the beginning and end of each paragraph or section in the program and will measure and record the time taken by that section of code when the program runs. To produce a profiler report, you first run a COBOL program that's been compiled for profiler as you normally would. This produces a binary file named for the program with an .ipf extension containing the statistics for that program. This file can then be converted into a human-readable report using the cobprof command on Unix Linux or the profiler command on Windows. Now, let's run through a demonstration of using profiler at the command line. For this example, I have the three programs mentioned earlier sitting in the same directory. I'll compile all of the programs with the profile directive. For this example, I have the three programs mentioned earlier sitting in the same directory. Next, I'll run the application. When execution reaches the adder program, it stops and prompts for a user response because of the accept and display statements I pointed out earlier. To help demonstrate some background about Profiler, I'm going to wait three seconds before I respond. Once I respond, the application completes. Notice that this generated a file with extension .ipf for each program. Again, this is a binary file, so we need to use the cobprof command to generate a human-readable report. This creates a report file for each program with the extension .prf. Let's take a look at the profiler report for main probe. It shows the overall time taken for the main program to run and the time taken by each paragraph. To finish up this video, Let's notice that even though I added a three second delay during the execution of adder, the reported times in main probe don't reflect this. This is because by default, Profiler measures CPU time used by the actual COBOL operations in the program. So delays caused by things that execute outside the COBOL statements, like user responses and database operations, are not reflected in the time measured by Profiler. We'll talk more about this in the next video and how to control this and other behaviors of Profiler. Thanks for watching.